Welcome back to Midford Pottery. A uh, little throw on some small mugs, bodies to throw. This is agate ware clear. It's uh, about 490 grams. This is green and plum. There's, uh, I've got four here ready. Various colours. So we'll have a go. Um, I'm going to try and give this a different angle somehow. Don't know how might uh, if I move the, that over there, put my jug there. How we're doing there? If I angle that round a bit, what's that like? Is that a good close-up of the throwing action? Oh, yeah. yeah, that'll do us. Hopefully, I'll not destroy the camera. So, agate ware. Uh, this is ES5 stone, white stone ware with um, Scarva nano colours added to it. Let's see, these are four mugs. So, the free form, there can be, there will be any shape they desire to be. I'll just lift that up a little bit. So make sure we've got everything. Got a wire, got a stick. We got a sponge. I need a proper sponge. I need a sponge, man. Need a sponge. Oh, there we go. I need a sponge. Right, off we go. Oh, that water's nice and cold as well. So this clear's been, it's been here a little while, so it's a bit around, bit on the tougher side. Now, because it's agate ware, don't want to cone up more than once, really. So we don't want to mix the grain up. We've got to be... Because if we did it two or three times, it mixes all that colour together and it starts to become a bit of a, a mush. So we centre it down, squash it into this hand. So because sometimes it's backwards when I'm filming, depending on the camera, that's my right hand. Left hand, right hand stabilises it, left hand squashes. You get your little sort of ball of clear there. Now, because we don't want to cone up too much, that's not quite centered. So I'm just going to lean on my arms a bit. Just to get that last little bit of wobble out. And make a little dimple in the middle. And if it dries, a little bit of water in. Go down to about that. And now I usually knock a little bit of spade off from the centre of the spade. And then I open that out. A couple of inches. Compact the base. So just apply a little bit of pressure and run your thumb backwards and forwards from the middle to the outside. Compact the clear, makes the base nice and smooth. Right, so then we will curl the top edge over, like so, getting a bit dry. One thing when you're throwing with colourants in your clear, what I've found is, because of the colourants are dry, added dry, it does 
make your clay very susceptible to drying out, especially when you're thrown. It'll dry a bit quicker when you hit the colorant part of it. So we've got that. So now we're going to start a lift. So we nip less pressure as we get to the top. And it's sort of more of an inward push than a straight up. Trying to keep the clear contained so it doesn't get too wide. Make sure there's water inside and out. And then we can start to reduce our speed. So go back to the bottom. Push in, push out. Nip the clear. Less pressure as we get about halfway. Less pressure as we get to the top. So we're trying to even out that wall now. Bit of water on it. Like I say, it's on the drier side, so this can take quite a bit of moisture. Just contain that top edge. Compact the top edge. Like so. Then we slow our wheel down again, make sure it's wet inside. Yes, so we'll go right to the bottom. Push in, push out, nip that clear. Lift and up, less pressure as we get into the top. So that's getting us a bit of height. Let's see this water out there, let's see what's going on. Re-moisture that bit. I might do one more. But this time, I'm going to sort of see what shape we get. So we're going to really slow the wheel. Get in there, get right to the bottom. Push that clean. Push it out. Less pressure as we get to the top. All the way at the top, like so. Right, now, we'll start. So we've got quite a height on it. So there's my hand, so it's nearly twice the height of my hand, which is a good, good height for a decent sized mug. So we'll do our top edge. Now what I've been doing, I've been putting a coloured liner glaze on these, so I don't have to scrape the inside or expose the grain, which is a bit of a bonus, because exposing the grain inside is tricky. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to get rid of this bit of clay first. So I'm just going to use our stick to get that bit off. Get that bit out of the way. Of course, we can't recycle this bit of clay because it's got colours in it. Now I need a rib. So that's a, a round edged wooden rib. Make sure it's nice and clean. Like so. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to expand it out a little bit. So we're going nice and slow. So I'm just going to push against the rib just to widen the shape out a bit and get a bit water in my hands 
so we don't stick. So we got that. Now get rid of our water inside. We don't want that to lie too long. And your top edge again. Maybe. Smooth that edge off like so. I'm just gonna undercut the bottom. Like so. And quickly run it with a stick. of the moisture then we need metal rib so this is where we expose the grain so I'll make sure this is clean so metal rib like that. Bit of water on my hand. So we're going to go in here, we're going to go nice and slow. We're going to scrape our outside surface. Let's just start at the bottom. So I'm just gently pushing against it with my inside fingers just to counterbalance the pressure. all the way at the top and that should expose the grain which I think it has done so that's okay and then what I want to do I don't want to get much water on that edge so I'm just going to use my chamois the short edge of the chamois just to smooth that top edge again And that is it. So we'll get the water out the inside, like so. Get the water off the wheel. Like so. Get our wire. Drag that through like so. Stop. Stop our wheel, dry our hands. I need a wear board. I need a board, put all the cups on. Give it a dry. So there's our board. So a cup, let's wire it off, clasp our hands twist as we lift put them over there one done some more to do now what i've been doing i'll put a thumb rest on my cup so this bit here would normally leave it on but because it's colored you've got to take it off and what i've found is if i scrape that off just gently combine it into a ball that gives us the same marbling effect on our thumb rest as on the body of the clay so they're going a little pot so they don't dry out where's my little pot where's my pot gone get that in a minute 
We'll get that in a minute. Well, there you go. There's another video. Just move the camera up. So, remember, clear is the way. Thanks for watching. Catch you in another video very soon. Bye for now.